what's good we're back in this thing today we're going to be going over this drake film photo overlay effect that was done in the laugh now cry later music video they do it two times throughout this scene it's a pretty quick scene in the music video but i uh i don't know for some reason it stood out to me and i thought it was really cool it's pretty simple to do uh all you need is a film frame border and we can be using the one uh for my drake style film overlay pack that i made a long time ago actually so i'm gonna be using those mine are fully customizable and there's three of them and it's only five bucks i'll be showing you like what comes with it and everything in a little bit uh yeah just letting you know what we can have there no cam today just wanted to do a quick video just get in and out not having to worry about editing the cam footage as well also my website on the 4k ultimate bundle the texture pack is going to be 25 percent off so you can get the ultimate 4k version for the price of the hd pretty much i think it's like 75 cents more than the hd yeah we're also going to be using the tape pack in the video uh today also if you want to just try out something we have the ultimate bundle sample pack here it comes with uh everything pictured so seven total overlays like two pieces of tape or maybe yeah two pieces of tape a few textures and stuff so if you want to try it out before you go ahead and buy it that's always an option as well but yeah to get the effect started what i did is i just took screenshots of this actual because i just wanted to use these photos so i took screenshots and then just cropped them out of the frame so it's basically just like reusing the same pictures but you can do it in your music videos by taking pictures of subject or whatever or you can just take stills from like a music video like, like these stills would still work i just wanted to like recreate it as close as possible and just kind of show you what it would look like if you were to do my way on this effect and then we'll be going over these marks here too i think they just use looks pretty digital to me but i could be wrong so first off if you go ahead and grab yourself the drake film overlay pack that i have what it's going to come with is it's going to come with the text files or the photoshop file where you can edit the text i'll show you that in a second and then if you want to just be quick it comes with the three PNGs that you can just slap on over a photo and then it makes it into a frame border. One more font and then just a readme that says install all the fonts to be able to customize the overlays, enjoy, and then my Instagram. Shameless plug. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up the film overlay pack so I can kind of show you guys what you can do with this. So here's the three film frames. I think for today's tutorial, we're gonna be doing, let's do overlay one. I like that one the best, I think, for this. It's as similar as possible. And then if you go inside that folder, you're gonna have all the play buttons. So you can just see, you can toggle those on and off. They're all 100% movable. So if you didn't like where this one in the top left was or this one right here, you can just go ahead and move it. You can go ahead and change all the text you want. So like, since I upload my music videos on the channel called Wonder World, I'm just gonna type in Wonder instead of Kodak there and just drag it there. And you can do that with your name, the artist name, the song name, anything and every text that's on here, even the numbers are customizable. So you can have it, you know, say basically whatever you want, uh, even the lines. So if you wanted those off or if you wanted to move them around, you could do that. And then just the different borders you can change as well. And then there's that for these other two as well. But I think I'm just gonna use this one for the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in three separate squares that I cut out from just the video itself. So we can do that and then drag this one below the film border. And then we can drag it just a little smaller so we get a better resolution because it is a little rough since we took it from the actual music video itself. And then you can go ahead and file save that as a PNG. And then we'll just number them. I'll name, number this one one, drag down the second one. Just to change it up a little bit, I'm just gonna move the playhead thing up here, there. Maybe we'll uh, drag that there just to change it up a bit between the two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and file and save this as the second one. And then for the third one, we can do the same thing. Move it around a bit on here, there. You don't have to do that, it's just cool. You can also just use the PNG version if you don't plan on changing anything. Because this is like, this was actually taken from uh, an actual frame border from like a real film. And then I just like made it digital. So like all these things are customizable. Also a little preview on something that uh, maybe I might be working on here. Maybe some uh, fully customizable full film strips and stuff. I definitely still need learn how to scan over my own film because uh that's looking a little rough there's me as a youngin a Sox game definitely did not look like that when we took the photo so i'll have to figure that out but frame borders look pretty far all right anyways we can go ahead and save this as the third one and then what you can do is go ahead and open a new project and just have it the same size as your actual project in premiere so if your music video is 1920 by 1080 you could do that if it was 4k you could do the resolution of that whatever your project file is just do that we can go ahead and drag in our three frame picks enter on each of these and then I'm just going to keep them all the same size, but just scale them down a bit. We'll have this one in the middle and then this one over to the side. And you can choose how you want it to like go over the sides or whatever. And then we can drag this one to this side. And if you want, you can do different photos for the top and bottom because that's kind of how they did it. They did like a full film strip or, strip or whatever. I think it's just easier since no one's really going to see it anyways. It's like so quick. You can just go ahead and drag yours up, have the legs there or whatever. Make sure you select on all three and then you can drag it down. And just like that, you have something pretty similar. If you want to go ahead and move these, you can have them like over 
overlay a little different or have them offset differently. And then obviously, if you want the uh, borders to overlay differently, just change them in the uh, left hand side or whatever. You know, obviously, whatever's on the top is going to be overlaying the stuff on the bottom. And then you can go ahead and make a new layer if you want to do that uh, paintbrush effect or the ink effect. And what I did is I just grabbed a brush from the ink box in the Mega Pack. I'll have that link below. It's free for Adobe users. The Clean Comics Kyle ink. And then I just made it something red. Opacity just turned it down a bit. Flow turned it down a lot to like something like 14. And then if you want, you can do smoothing. So I just turned it to something like 10 so it like gets rid of the little jitters in my mouse when I'm dragging and stuff. But yeah, uh, basically just you can mark it up however you want. Just make sure you're on a layer that's separate than all these and on top. So I know they did like something like this, kind of like selected what photo worked and which one didn't like you could do like something like that or if you like wanted to show that you wanted this photo you can do something like that so that could be our first one you can make as many as you want and then to save time for the sake of the tutorial i'm just gonna select all these vertically and merge them all of these are together and then once i do that i can go ahead and move these out of order so i'm just gonna use the same three strips for the whole effect but like i said if you're doing it for your sake or whatever i'd probably spend a little bit more time so let's see which one i saved or which one i had in the middle we'll just do three different ones so last time i had drake pointing the ball forward in the middle so this is fine and then if you want you can make a new markup layer where you just mark the images so i'm just going to go and go ahead and go ahead and give this a circle i'm just going to do it a few times till it finds something that i like that one's fine by me and then maybe something like that there we are and we can save that as the second one and then since we did three separate ones you want the one that isn't in the middle already uh, to go in the middle this time and maybe switch these two positions and then this time i'm just going to have like this you know a little bit down or whatever and then maybe i'll match that this one on that side so it's kind of and then they had like in the music video, they had um, sections where like there wasn't photos in here. So you could just like make a frame without a photo and just have like a black background or something like that. But for right now, I think this is pretty good. We're just gonna go ahead and use that uh, paintbrush again and make sure we got that red layer. Just mark it up however you want. Basically, this is like recreating. I probably should mention this at the beginning. A lot, a lot of times when they were like picking out uh, like picks to use back in the day, like when it was like on film or whatever, they would like circle and like mark out which ones they thought were good for like the newspaper or whatever. They would do that. I don't know too much about it, but I just knew that was kind of a thing. So we'll just do three, I think is good for right now. We can go ahead and save that. And then I'm gonna drag in my three images and I'm just gonna kind of replace or put them over over the actual transition. And I think they did something like five to like 10 frames. So I'm just gonna do like seven on each. You don't have to keep the same length on each one, but five, six, seven, maybe an extra frame there. And then that, so that's mine. So that's theirs. For a second, I thought it was mine, but I actually have this on toggle or whatever. And then that's mine. So as you can see, really, really similar. I actually wasn't able to uh, tell which one was which at first. Now, obviously, because it says Wanda and stuff, but I thought for a second I was playing mine. And then in the song or in the music video itself, they actually added some sound effects. I'll have this one linked in the description if I can find it. I just went on freesounds.org and found a picture taking sound, like a click. And then I'm just going to cut this and add a marker right in the front of it and then drag it. You guys aren't going to be able to hear this because I don't know why my OBS doesn't record sound, but I'll, uh, I'll have it play here in a second. So that sounds good to me. Um, that's pretty much it for the effect. Like I said, you can do whatever you want with these film frame borders or whatever. You go back into Photoshop for a second and go to here. You could use any one of the three. You could use something like that, that, or that. We use the uh, the film overlay one and then just change the font and the position of the play buttons and stuff. And ours, like I said, you can just use the PNG overlay. And also let me know if you guys want me to make a, like a full digital version of like a bunch of film strips and stuff, like a huge pack in the future. I definitely want to do something like that because I think it would be really cool and I haven't really seen it done anywhere where you can like completely customize it. If you do go ahead and grab the Drake film overlays that are used in this video uh don't worry when i come out with the pack or whatever just let me know that you uh purchased this and i'll give you like five dollars off the uh the future one that has like a lot more stuff or whatever because that's probably not gonna be for a while anyways if you wanted to do something with like that it's just like a bulb overlay i don't really know where you would get one so you could do that and then they have a sound effect there too as well i'm not exactly sure what it was because i don't have sound here but yeah basically just going over this this is what ours looked like again if you guys did make it all the way to the end, I really appreciate you. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and comment. And if you're not already, subscribe because what we're doing here is a thing called Tutorial Miss. It's where I upload 31 videos in the 31 days of December. Like I said, my ultimate texture 4K bundle pack is on sale for 25% off. Basically gives you the price of the HD version, and but you get all the stuff in the 4K resolution. So that's real cool. If you haven't checked it out already, I'd recommend
recommend doing so. There's like, here's an example of like what you can do real quick. Just turn this into a piece of paper, just in a few clicks or whatever. Basically drag and drop, essentially. A bunch of other stuff. This is all it includes. Got the tape. I did say we we're going to use the tape. So here, I'll just show you an example of what it could look like. Kind of forgot, honestly. I think it would be pretty cool to have it in like something like this, where it's just like taping the frames together, actually. Yeah, it could be used something like that. There's a bunch of different tapes that you could use. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Peace.